Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about error handling using Axios in React.js. And guys, this is also a very important topic because uh, how we need to understand the how we need to manage the error handling of Axios and the React.js. And in the previous video we discussed about the get calls and delete call and post call. And I've given you assignment for the put and the patch call. I hope you have did that and shared that assignment with me on the email or on the description. So thank you very much guys and let's get started. So before getting started, uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel, Amir Pravez. Here, all the videos of the React.js are in detail, so you can learn and enjoy the videos. And also, I have shared the source code on, on this GitHub slash Amir Pravez slash React.js complete course, so you can download the source code. And if you miss anything in, in while, while working, you can get the source code here. So let's get started, guys. So in the previous video, we work on how we need to get the data how and how we can work uh, further on. But I, in this video, I'm going to explain you how we can actually manage our errors and handle that and show that on the UI. So before working on that, I'm going to show you that you can see here, we have a website Axios and uh, we have a complete detail about the error handling and we, we can see that uh, when we whenever we get some error from our APIs, there are a lot of ways to manage that. The request was made and the server responded with the status code. So whenever we get the error dot response in this, we can get the status codes and the data and the headers. So let's try it on our source code. And I'm going to say it. Let's check this out. I'm going to press F12 and I'm going to say it. Let's check it. And here I'm going to pass the wrong URL. So now if we go here, so you can see here this response error response in the response we get data data which is empty and the status which is 404 that means that the url is invalid and this is the headers all the information inside this so if and you can see here if we pass the request was made but no response was received so in that case we are uh, the execution and the api is going to return this error dot request in the request we can get that uh, what actually request was made and what was the issue and if something happened in setting up the request that trigger an error so in that case this is going to run uh, else condition right guys but here you can see uh, there are a lot of other things also and the interesting part you can see here using two json to get an object with more information about the http error so this is going to be interested i'm going to use that console.log and error.toJSON. so you can uh, uh, get the link in the description about this errors detail uh, this is the official website of the exios so uh, now i'm going to comment all this code and now i'm going to say it like this so now if i go here so now you can check this out we get the object uh, uh, error dot uh, it actually transform all the things in the object and now you can see here object have given us the actual message and also name number and all the status code as well as so this is going to be interesting and really easy to manage it so let's do it like this and now check this out great so now let's check check this out and we can see here if i click on save okay i need to make some changes i need to check this out okay let me just check this out okay great so we get that message right guys great request failed with status code 404 this is actually the exact message. so i need to store this message somewhere and i need to show this, that on the ui as well as what i'm going to do i'm going to use a use state i'm going to say it error message and i'm going i'm going to like this error message and now i'm going to set this error message Cool, and I'm going to pass the empty string. Okay, great. Now I'm going to say it, set the error message. So all I need to do is, I'm going to copy this. Okay, cool. I'm going to comment this as well as, oh, okay, great guys. And also I need to reset this whenever we uh, run this get call, get post call. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to manage this error here so if the error message dot length 
is less than one in that case we need to show this otherwise i'm going to say it h2 okay and i'm going to say it error, show the error message great and in in the css i have changed the color so let's check this out great guys so now you can see here the difference we are getting the error message now i need to check this on the real time so what i'm going to do here i'm going to update the url okay so now you can see here we get the, we get the objects yeah right guys you can see the objects here great and if i click uh, and if i pass the wrong url you can see here the error message great guys so this is how we are actually handling the error message and you can uh, uh, find more details about the error message on the exit url and it's going to be so thank you very much guys and thank for subscribing and liking my videos and um, giving the comments and likes and giving the suggestions to me keep watching my channel and re uh, give your comments and suggestions and also make this project real-time project so you can learn about the project because react is nowadays in a lot of demand and you can learn and you can earn a lot from these projects and also these courses. Thank you guys. Have a good day.